to is Brandy and welcome to the Brandy channel. You guys, I am so glad that I am back in the action with these videos. So today's video is gonna be a Valentine's Day look, and I really hope you guys enjoy. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So first what I'm doing is I'm applying my NYX Hydrating Primer. And this is very important because not only do it moisturize your skin, but it also protects your face from breakouts. And I'm going to color in the tail a little bit as well. <laughs> Next, I'll be using my Morphe Anchor Brush. Um, it doesn't give a number, it's just Morphe, but I'm just going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade. Maybe that's what I do for you guys. I just use the pencil. I'm gonna just use the pencil. Get to the front. You're just gonna draw upwards. Draw like this. Yeah. So you wanna do. So we're gonna color in this and do what you get at the very tip. Just draw upward strokes. So that's what I'm gonna do. That is nice. Let's see. Anyways, <laughs> so next, what did I just do with this brush? So next, I'm going to use the anchor brush that I was just talking about. Well, it's a straight brush. I don't know what it's got, but it's by Elf, and I'm going to use it to clean up my brows. I'm going to, the concealer I will be using is, hold on, where is it? Oh, here it is. It is Max Paint Pot. I don't know what number, NT42 or something, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. And I'm just going to use that to clean now. Clean them up. And make them try to make them look alike. <laughs> Dad, he actually watched my videos and then he called and critiqued me like, oh, do a little more things and do that. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> but he's really supportive, so. What I'm doing is like, I'm just flickering it up like this. The hardest thing is making my eyebrows look the same. That's the hardest thing. Okay, so let's go with this. I don't know. I think I work better with the pencil, actually. So, yeah. For some odd reason, I make this one so thin every single time. It never fails.
concealer in the color warm honey and this is basically I'm going to set it and it's basically going to hold whatever eyeshadow that I put on my eyes longer so yeah you should be using a real taste needs blender and I'm just going to blend out the concealer that is left on my eyes So next, I am going to use Black Opal's finishing powder in the color medium or 03, and I am going to put that there as well to set it, you know. So now it's time to get to the eyeshadow kit. So everything that I'm using will be drugstore. Um, drugstore lady and affordable. So yeah. This is black elbow you can get from Walmart. What else? Morphe, you have to buy it online, but it's only like the set. I probably spent like twenty dollars on the whole face set, like eighteen dollars. I mean, which was like eighteen um, brushes, which is like more than one dollar. I mean, less than one dollar each. So that's a uh, still. Um, what else? My eyebrows. I literally got that from Walmart. This is Wet and Wild, which is probably like a dollar and nineteen cents. Um, is that all I use? Um, the concealer. Oh yeah, the concealer. Um, LA Girl Pro Concealer is only a dollar and ninety nine cents. You can get it from the beauty supply store. I don't know if Walmart sell it though, but your local beauty supply store has it. So, the eyeshadow that I'm using is BH Cosmetics, and look how beautiful it is. This will be my first time using it, and I will be doing a Valentine's Day look. This palette was $11, y'all. You cannot beat it. It's really pigmented. Um, I can roll my finger in some of them. You can see um, this blue. This blue. It shows really good, you guys. Um, pink. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. So, let's get to it. Okay, like, so first what I'm going to do is I'm, it's going, I'm going to use a trend transition color first things first which is the color of your skin and I'm going to use this first so 
So I'm thinking I'm going to use this, which is the third color. These are not labeled. They do not have colors or anything like that. So I'm going to just have to go with it. So it's the third one, the first brown on the first row. Um, and yeah, I'm going to put this into my crease. You tap it off like that. And I'm using a Morphe brush. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to use another Morphe brush and I am going to pack some So the next color the next color that I'm going to use is this bright pink which is like the third to last on the third row and we're going to put this in the middle like so And all the way, we're going to put it a little bit in the crease. Do you see? Can you tell? Oh, you leave it a little bit in the crease. Thank you. 
So I'm doing now is I'm using the tool to shut it up. Don't look. 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 Don Put on some. Oh no, first I'm gonna conceal my dark spots. This MAC, I mean, LA Girl Pro Concealer and Warm Honey to conceal my dark spots in my face. I like to use my fingers because it melts in my skin to me. It looks like it melts into my skin instead of using my first. It's just me, you know? But whatever. Um, next, I'm going to be using a Maybelline's Fit Me Foundation in the color Coconut 355. And I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand. And apply it to my face. Would you maybe to do it? Since it is one of the time my skin changes. Everyone's skin changes. Because So now that my face is flat as can be, what I'm going to do is I'm adding Dimension X. So this is LA Girl Pro Concealer again in Warm Honey. And I'm just going to conceal my under eyes and brighten up my face a little bit. Take me. I don't pretty much because you know I really don't need it. I really don't have to consider my Blending it all in, guys. I'm not going to do that. 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 I
Cause my stippling brush gives me a flawless finish, so yeah. Okay. I'm just put a little more concrete. And this is a Valentine's Day look, so it's a lot more heavy. Then just a regular makeup tutorial, you know? So if you do not want to be beat to the guys, don't watch this video because I don't want to get nobody complaining about it. Saying, oh, you put on too much makeup, you did this, you did Well, you be regular, okay? I'm so tired of hearing. Oh, you put too much makeup on me. Well, maybe you should put on a little bit more because you ain't really all that cute. Okay? I'm about to soak my face. And this is great for women with color, y'all. Women of color. Women of color. Again. And this is if you, if you do not want to look cakey. And dry and mad, and your skin is like burning. Use a damp beauty blender, it gives you that flawless look instead of looking like oh, I just can't go all this makeup. Of course, you set and spray, please, but also use translucent powder. I mean, use a damp beauty blender. <laughs> Cause, oh my fucking god! Really, really. Oh, any flashback? <laughs> um, I do not beg. I'm really just saying it like. I'm not even letting it sit long. Like, as soon as I put it on my face, I'm taking it right back off, y'all. Because you don't want your skin to be dry. It is, like, you know what I'm saying? It's winter, and it's dry outside already. And it's, like, everybody's skin is dry. It's, it's messing up our skin. Look, okay, let that go. Just for a second until it's like spring again, please. Just a few minutes, okay? Let's 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 stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. Okay. Come on now, please. Your face is already dry, and you making it even more dry now. I'm using a stippling brush to contour my cheeks and or set my contour. I'm setting my contour. Yeah, you see yeah I'm just so feeling myself. I ain't even doing this right. Okay, so when you contour, you swipe up. Not this way towards your mouth. You are going up like this, and you are warming up your face. 
You are putting dimension back in your face. You are putting them cheekbones that you lost back in your face. Oh my god, this is gonna be long as tutorial. Do you hear me? Uh, do you, no? Okay, so I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to put some eyeshadow under it. I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics palette again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this black. Yeah, and I'm really starting not to like this palette because my pink keep going on. Like the more I add it, it just keep leaving. I'm going to put some eyeliner under here as well. And So you guys, what I'm doing now is I am cleaning up what I fucked up, okay? <laughs> no. I'm cleaning up under eyes, making a shot with concealer. Okay, you guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and I am going to seal that in with translucent powder. Okay, and I'm going to have to add some more paint and let that bitch sit. Go back and add in pink again for like the third time. It gives you the spider eye effect it uses and it just clumps up like it just clumps up really when I the first day I got it it clump it was clumped up. I told myself I was gonna take it back. But I had forgot my receipt, so and I got it from one of them. Just in case anyone likes it. I mean it's not for everybody, everybody knows what the same thing. Some people like it like that, some people don't. Personally, I don't, but I'm gonna make it do what it do, and I'm also going to add some to the bottom mesh. We are using is, what we are going to use is our, my Morphe palette, blush palette. Don't mind it, it's super dirty, I know. Um, which color should we do? Pink. We're going to do this code. And you just want to put a little bit. You don't want to put too much. 
blue kids and stuff like that. We're going to use more stuff. I do is I take my fan brush and my Urban Decay setting spray. All nighter, and I'm going to do my And I'm going to spray it. I'm using this Wet n Wild pencil for my look.